Hello everyone, it's Valerie from Shalebrook Handcrafted Soap in Moser River, Nova Scotia. And today I am doing a video on, it's called Sweet Setsuma Shave Soap. It's a hot processed shave soap. And uh, I'm just restocking because I've sold out of a couple of my shave soaps. This morning I did After the Rain Shave Soap. And now I'm going to do Setsuma Shave Soap. And uh, always remember to wear your glasses and gloves. It's very healthy to do that because you never know when lye can splatter. And uh, so my oils are heating up here. I'm just waiting for that stearic acid to completely melt. So as soon as that's all melted, I'll be starting the video for that. But I wanted to give an introduction on this. And uh, shave soaps are, uh, most shave soaps are made with dual lye. This one I'm using 40% NaOH, which is the sodium hydroxide, which is what you usually use for making soap. Then I'm going to use 60% potassium hydroxide or KOH. And it's going to be a one pound soap. And uh, I put quite a few things in this one, but it contains 50% vegetable based stearic acid. And uh, that gives, it's going to give it dense, thick, beautiful lather. It'll help to do that. And uh, also in this is apricot kernel oil, castor oil, coconut, Crisco, Cocum butter, mango butter, shea butter, and tallow. And uh, then I'm super fatting it with uh, hemp oil and barrage oil, meadow foam, sea buckthorn, some shea butter, and I'm going to put yogurt in it. And there's going to be apple cider vinegar and aloe vera juice, honey, and lanolin. And uh, I'm going to be using 10% glycerin to use after the cook. And there's vitamin E oil drops in it as well. Um, I'm just going to use water and aloe vera juice for my lye liquid. And uh, I'm also putting coconut milk and homemade hemp milk in this one. Uh, and a teaspoon of kale and clay in it. Uh, what I will do is uh, I'll take you through the cook process step by step. And uh, I'll post the formula on after, after it. I'll show pictures of it. And I'm also going to show you a lather test when the soap is all cooked to add to this video. Um, so I hope you enjoy it and um, so once we're all ready to, to put the lye in with the oils, I'm going to bring you back. That's uh, just an introduction for now. Hello, we're back. I have my oils melted and uh, because this is a high steric shaving soap, there's a possibility of high volcano here, uh, So, which I had one time with the uh, Knight Rider shaving soap video. So this, the oils are at 145. I just actually, I wish they would have been a bit higher. Uh, the crock pot is on low, and my lye is 155. So I'm going to do something just a bit different. I have hemp milk and coconut milk here, and it's hot. And because I know this is going to thicken up real fast because of the steric, I'm going to put my milk in first and stick blend that in with my oils, and then I'm going to add the lye. And this is coconut milk. It's about 1.25 ounces of coconut milk and one ounce of homemade hemp milk, which was deducted from the original lye liquid amount. So here we go, I'm going to put that lye in. Excuse the noise of the blender, but I would, uh, my husband's videotaping, I want you to see the process here if you can. Uh, can you see that? Okay, here we go. And uh, we're thickening up really fast here, as you can see. And I'm going to Is 
With Steric, like I said, that stuff heats up really fast. So you can see it here. And this is 50% Steric acid. I'm going to try to get this cleaned off. I actually did a shaving soap this morning. The one that I did this morning was Vaseline stage in three to four minutes. Yes, I know. That is just crazy. No zap. So you don't have to, in my, in my personal opinion and personal experience, uh, you don't have to... Oh, excuse that. I don't... You don't have to cook it for hours. Uh, we have a shipment coming to our door, so those are my dogs letting me know that, hey, somebody's coming to our house. I'm so sorry about that. Anyway, so there we go. That's uh, looking pretty good right there. You'll probably see that it might pop a bit. But uh, that's actually potato Vaseline, or it looks like, which is uh, kind of different. The interesting thing about that is heat and steric. Stir that around. It's not quite vas all Vaseline stage. Sure looked like it. So I'm just going to put some plastic wrap on that. Feel free to shut that off if you want. I'm not going to shut it off. I'm going to take you through the steps this time with this soap. cover it over and like I said this crock pot is on low uh, I usually keep it on warm or turn it right off and depending on the heat but I didn't want that to volcano out of the pot this time and uh, there we go it looks it's looking pretty good to me I'm just gonna time that for like two minutes So, like I said, um, shaving soaps are drying, or they can be drying. And um, actually, can you see that with that sunlight coming in there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, they can be quite drying. Uh, I can't stand that in any soap unless it's uh, going to be low super fat because of a shampoo bar. So, um, what I really looked at doing this was trying to get the cleansing number as low as I possibly could because I know the conditioning number isn't going to be very high because of that high steric content. So the conditioning on this is 35 with the cleansing being at 2. Uh, so what I did was I super fatted up front 5% and added another probably 8% uh, super fat after the cook. And then of course you have the 10% glycerin added and uh, all the other goodies in there. Uh, so you want your shaving soap to glide and be dense and uh, the lather to last, but I don't think you want your face to be dry or your legs to be dry afterwards. So that's what I work towards in all my shaving soaps is trying to get them as low cleansing as I possibly can and the highest conditioning number I can along with having it be great lather on it. And I think, uh, I think I ended up doing probably nine different formulas uh, that I, I was actually happy with all of them. But um, right now I'm happy with the, the four soaps that I sell in, in shaving soaps right now. And they're getting great reviews. And I'm really always pleased when that happens. That people are enjoying it and it's treating their skin good. 
So uh, once this reaches Vaseline stage, and that's two minutes, I'm going to start putting my add-ins in. Of course, I'm just going to check this out. That's looking pretty good. I don't think this one's going to cook as fast as my other one. Uh, it's not all Vaseline yet. It's uh, almost, but not quite. You can see the steam coming off of that there. What I'm going to do with that now is I am going to turn that crock pot off. And I'm going to time it for two more minutes. So I always heat everything up before I put it into hot process. Uh, so I have that 10% uh, glycerin. I just heated that up because I'm going to add that hot as well when I add my super fat. And I got my uh, sugar. I have a tablespoon of sugar. This is a one pound soap. So I have a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar in with it. And I have two teaspoons of honey and a teaspoon of lanolin with a tablespoon of aloe vera juice in it. And uh, that tablespoon of ACV and the aloe vera juice is not deducted from the lye amount. And I'm putting 6% sodium lactate in. That is not deducted from the lye amount. It's going to be, uh, even though the numbers show the hardness at I think it's 140 something, yeah, 140 something, and the INS at 158, it does have the dual lies. And the uh, KOH or uh, potassium hydroxide tends to make a softer soap, which, uh, which you want because you want the shaving soap to be pliable to the brush, from what I've read. I don't consider myself an expert in shaving soaps. Uh, but I know what works and what's working for my customers and actually what works for my husband and I. So, very interesting. So that two minute timer just went off and I'm just going to check this. And I would definitely say that that is Vaseline. So now I'm going to add well, actually, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do. You should always, always, in my opinion, you should check your pH. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm just going to let that. Uh, I'm just going to do a tongue tongue zap with this one. Well, hopefully it doesn't zap before I add that stuff. And I'm definitely not putting that on video. Me touching it to my tongue. Ha ha. <laughs> Okay. No zap, but definitely tastes like soap. So you can see that that shaving soap right there was probably five minutes. I'm, I'm going to guess that was five minutes. 
And here's my super fat, which consisted of hemp, hemp oil, sea buckthorn oil, shea butter, meadow foam oil, and barrage oil. You can use what you like. You don't have to use what I use. And actually, I really try to encourage everybody, don't, don't try to be like me, be like yourself, and find your own niche. And, and uh, if these videos can help you in even a small way, then that makes me really happy. And you can uh, feel free to use the recipe, just don't sell it. Uh, sell it as your own. I don't, I don't like that. Doesn't mean it's wrong, I just don't want that happening with mine. So I'm actually going to shut that crock off. Stir this up. And I'm going to add my yogurt and my sodium lactate and my glycerin and my fragrance oil. And then I'm going to let that set for about five minutes so that all can just work and get together. You don't have to, you can just do what you like. And then what I'm going to do is uh, leave it set for about five to seven minutes. And I'll bring it back and I'll add my honey and my lanolin because I want the properties from that. And this is my glycerin. Putting that in, and uh, then I'm going to add that um, fragrance oil, which I'm using Setsuma Mandarin Jasmine and some patchouli essential oil. I don't color my shave soaps, and uh, the one I did this morning had uh, tea in it. It had uh, plantain and marshmallow root and calendula and dandelion tea in it, which is also real nice. You can see how soupy that is. I hope it stays that way when I put that uh, fragrance oil in. And uh, I won't keep you here for the five minutes. I'll uh, shut the camera off. When the five minutes is up, we'll come back. I'm going to be pouring this soap into molds silicone molds and I'm going to heat that up in my Breville oven at about 150 Fahrenheit so that it pours in and it can uh, make a better shape when that mold is heated. You can see it's actually beautiful. Okay, thank you honey and we'll be back. So here we are back. It's been seven minutes and I'm going to get ready to mold this. I'm just going to add my honey. My honey and lanolin. And I also have some vitamin E oil in there. And stir that up really good. And that was heated in a frying pan so it would uh, be nice and warm to add to this. Okay. Then I'm going to pour that into my heart mold. That's been in the uh, Breville toaster oven on 150. Probably have to get that over, but we'll see. This was done at 38% uh, lye liquid as well. Okay. It's slipping out of my hands there a bit, so I just got to be careful with that. OK, 
Can you pass me a couple of those muffin cups, honey, please? try to just put a bit more in those. So you saw how actually really nice those are. I like having them full. And then I'm just going to put some in this muffin cup because my hubby and I will use those or sometimes I'll give them away. Can you see those muffin cups in there? Probably, can you see the muffin cups? That's about it. All done. Sweet Setsuma Shave Soap with 50% vegetable based steric. And I'll bring you back when I do the lather test with these and I'll post pictures as well. Thank you for joining me today. Bye bye. Hi, so I wanted to show you the lather from that Sweet Setsuma shaving soap I made. And um, you can watch online how some people do it. Uh, there's a few different ways. Uh, what I've done is with this badger hair brush of mine, I've had it soaking in extremely hot water because it, it makes the bristles plump up. And I've had this soap puck in there, that little soap puck. I've had in there about maybe close to a minute maybe. So what I'm going to do now is just mash my brush around that to come up with lather. Um, when I was making, looking at making these shaving soaps, um, there's a couple of things they look for and that is uh, denseness and glide. But my husband also told me that from all the ones he's ever used, it always left his skin extremely dry. So what I was looking for when I was formulating these shaving soaps of mine was to make one that was more conditioning as well. Okay, I'm just going to pop that puck out there and I'm just going to work this a bit more. A couple of other things that they'll tell you is you don't want your lather to be too dry and you don't want it to be too wet. You can see there right now that this is uh, I'm getting an incredible amount of lather off of that little bit of stuff. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I love it when something turns out so good. I'm sure only a shaver or a soaper could uh, find that wonderful. But um, that's almost all ready there. And uh, you could work with that a bit more, however you like it. But um, I think that's beautiful now. Just look at that. And I don't have a shaving cup. That's my husband's shaving cup. I use a bowl. But um, you can see how uh, how dense that is. You could probably make a snowman with that, you know? It's so beautiful. So you can see that it's silky and it's dense. And uh, like I said, you could work with that a bit more. Uh, 
So that's not going anywhere. You can see that. I can even shake that up and down. That's how dense that is. Did you get that in the camera, honey? So, uh, just beautiful. And I just wanted to show you that. And uh, it's just lovely shaving with it. Thank you for watching.